this box is called a cajon, and it's a, it's a percussion instrument. A lot of Spanish drummers use it. Now this round one, it's also a cajon. And pearl drums, it used to be Afro percussion. Pearl drums asked me to try these out, and I thought they were real cool. And they're made for kunga technique. And they say you can also use them as furniture. So the guys and the ladies will really dig them, you know. If you don't play them, you can set cups and stuff on them. But, but basically use your hands. And a lot of people just love the box, you know. It's just got a... Simplicity is just beating on the box. This is a drum called the X drum. It's a bass drum that's made like a speaker, a square bass drum. And uh, you see that port in the front, it's got this round hole, and what happens is before the sound comes out, it travels a long way, so it really gets a, a lot of low end. This one is a small, like an 18, 20 inch that he made so that I, it was small enough to take on the road because on the record, I used the bigger version that really has a low just sound. It'll fill this room up. Growing up playing drums with sticks beating on boxes and coming from there, I wanted to see if I could play the drums with my hands and, uh, and therefore kind of begin to look at the drums in a new way. And so it's like a lot of times you think of hand drum, you think of a kunga drum, you know. Or, you know, a skin drum, a wood sound or something like that. But in this, I was coming from the drums, I wanted to see if I can play the whole drum set. And it's learning to use my hands the way I use the sticks. It's like um, in drumsticks, it's basically if I broke it down really simple, you have single strokes back and forth in drums, or you have double strokes. One, two, one, two, mama, mama, daddy, mama, daddy, mama, daddy, single. And like you have these, uh, like Bela was talking about, set of scales. In drums, it's not so much scales as it is rudiments. Those are combinations, and they're combinations of these singles and double strokes. Like a paradiddle would be right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. It's a pattern, like and you learn how to, to move them. What I was trying to do is learn and see if I could use them with my fingers. and move the mama and daddies with my fingers. So my bounces, instead of bouncing, I'm using two fingers. Instead of going bounce, I'm going bounce. Mama, daddy, mama, daddy, mama, daddy, mama, daddy, mama, daddy. So if I go triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, I can split the triple up. So you the hand is such an expressive tool of creation. It's one of the most expressive, uh, useful, you know what I mean, tools. You can pick stuff up with it, you can feel, you can sense, you know, it senses heat and cold, it's very expressive, you can draw, I mean, you know what I mean, it's just, a, it's quite a tool. And to be able to use this tool to, to approach the drums in a different way, almost a feminine way, you know what I mean, it's, it's maybe less masculine than with a club and a stick. It's, 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 it's to approach the drums almost in a psychic way, you know, like Spock mind melding with the, you know, to see if I could get to the drums this way. And it was a question. I didn't know if I could do it back in 85. So we started off this guitar maker named Bill Colgan, Smithfield. He's not with us anymore. But uh, he developed something where we had this hollow body Gibson. I call it my Elvis model. It's somewhere around. And um, we embedded this drum machine kind of thing. And I just 
f f fingered it around to see if I get to it. And it felt like I could get there. Then at the end of that year, at 85, the next year we started working on the other side because I realized one hand you need the other side. Like in drums, you know what I mean? Right, left, right, left. Here, if it's right, left, right, here, it's here. A lot of times I'm going right, left, right, left. But instead of going in one small place, I'll just split the voice out. You know what I'm saying? Like if I have snare here, instead of going right, left, to, to use both hands, instead of coming all the way over here, like this, I'll just have it over here. You know, if you were doing it, you'd logically come to that c conclusion. And for drummers out there, like if I was to explain, a lot of times on drums, you'll play a beat like in one hand. Uh -huh. So when I do that, it frees this le the left hand up. In a way, so what I'm doing here, I'm taking the drum. I can just, you know, leave this, leave this hand free. So a lot of times I'm isolating the beat with my right hand, using my left hand. It's impressionism. It's my impression of the drums. It's not really, it's the Emperor's New Drums. It's, there's not a drum set here in quotation marks, it's a, it's a different layout. So, you know, I'm marching to the beat of a different drummer. <laughs> 